Boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. The Arizona Cardinals end up losing to the Buffalo Bills 34-28. to And although we can say there are some moral victories that come along with the Cardinals standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Buffalo Bills, there's a lot to dive into about things that I would like to see change next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and dive right into it. Cardinals versus Bills. All right, everybody, welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor, smack up the like button and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We're going to be following the Arizona Cardinals throughout the entirety of the NFL season. So if you do like what you hear, subscribe it up. And uh, we're on the road to 15K. Can't do it without you guys. It's absolutely for free. Subscribe it up. And on top of that, we will be going live later on as well. So make sure you have your post notification bell on and uh, we might open up the phone lines. We'll see. All right, let's dive into it, ladies and gentlemen. The Arizona Cardinals end up losing 34 to 28. And I remember doing my pregame show and I said, the Cardinals stay toe to toe or, or they lose by a possession, you know, uh, I won't be mad. And, and honestly, I, I'm not mad, but there is things that obviously I need the Cardinals to fix and I need them to fix them ASAP. Uh, the Cardinals had an opportunity to win this game. Um, but let, let's take it back to the beginning, shall we? Let, let, let's take it back to the beginning. The Cardinals started off this game looking very good, like very good. It almost kind of seemed like it was dominating. Like the Cardinals were 17 to three at one point. And there's been some calls on the ref sides where I'm talking about like some really huge altering, you know, decision making, momentum swinging type of flags that were thrown. Now, some might say that Kyler Murray got that th a ball, th uh, that flag thrown when, you know, there was a rough in the passer. Um, and then the Cardinals got one when Zayvon Collins should have got that sack. So like these are the things that like, man, just big momentum swing shifts that happen where the refs were a big deciding factor to like move momentum over by any of these two teams, right? So the Cardinals were doing good 17 to three. And then we allow momentum to, you know, rear its ugly head because after that, that call of the, uh, the pass interference by Zayvon Collins, I'm sorry, not pa uh, roughing the passer. What happened was obviously Josh Allen got in the mode and uh, he scored 10 points. So it was 17 to 10 going into the half. Now, they do get the ball at the second half, and man, from there, it was just kind of a snowball effect. The Arizona Cardinals offense, literally in the third quarter, was like nowhere to be seen. Like, they were doing very good in the first half, and it almost kind of seemed like they disappeared. Almost like adjustments happened, and the Cardinals didn't adjust to what they were doing. They were playing a lot of stacking the box up a lot on the defensive side of the ball. They almost kind of said, Kyler Murray... You beat us with your arm. And the Cardinals did some very, very head-scratching things when it came down to, I don't know, just really weird decisions, right? And I mean, like, like third and 10, a draw play, right? And especially in a very crucial moment or, or running the ball in, in a third and long, right? So, like, that happened twice, actually. Yeah, it happened twice because we had to settle for a field goal once and then it happened at the end of the game as well. So, like, I get where it's coming from, right? We're like, oh, we were trying to catch him off guard, right? We're but, like, who are you fooling? You know what I mean? Who are you fooling? The, the, the Cardinals did not have a great game offensively in the second half. Kyler Murray ended up this game at 21 for 31, 162 yards, one touchdown. That's it. That's it, right? Now, he did get involved with his legs, and he had some really good, outstanding runs with his legs. He was five carries, 57 yards. So, it was good. It was looking good. The Cardinals rushing attack from James Conner alone, 16 carries, 50 yards, one touchdown. The game plan was, we knew what it was. Run the ball down their throat, see if they can stop us. The problem is, they stopped us in the second half and the Cardinals couldn't adjust. Or at least we adjusted too late. One thing I want to talk about here, and it is seen as maybe negative or, you know, oh, you don't want to think positive. No, I'll give it to you. I, I think the Cardinals played very tough against a playoff team. I feel like the Cardinals showed a lot of grit. I feel like the Arizona Cardinals showed that they can stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Buffalo Bills. Now we got the Rams and then we got the Lions next. There's no way we can start off an 0 3. We can't, especially if we want to be taken serious, right? Especially all these chirpings that we've been saying. Oh, chip on the shoulder. Let's fix it. These are the things the Cardinals can fix. The wide receiving core today was lethargic, it was bad. And I'm not even blaming that on the wide receiving core. I'm blaming that kind of on Kyla Murray because there's been a couple plays that we've seen Marvin Harrison Jr., especially in that last. Uh, there was one of the last few plays where he was open, waving his hand. It's like the only wide receiver that Kyler Murray locked onto was Greg Dortch. And granted, 
there's people out there saying, well, the Cardinals, if they got that PI call, we could have won this game. You're right. You're right. But I just don't get the philosophy or the idea that Greg Dorch is going to be the guy that, you know, that you're going to throw the ball to, right? Like, that's going to be our deciding factor. Greg Dorch, save us. It should be Marvin Harrison Jr., your fourth overall pick um, in the NFL draft. Marvin only had the ball once. One reception's four yards. I think he got targeted like three or four times. So it wasn't one of those things where it was like, oh my God, he had all these targets, but he just had butterfingers, right? He did have a potential ball he dropped. Uh, Michael Wilson dropped a really good ball to him as well. Like those are the things that stack up against you that maybe Kyler Murray didn't feel confident with these wide receivers. But at the end of the day, like he only really threw those balls to these wide receivers like in the last part of the game. So maybe these wide receivers were like, oh, my hands are cold anyway. So I don't know, right? This offense can be much better. It really can. These wide receivers need to be involved. I don't care if they're doubling Marvin. Uh, I, they need to scheme him open. Find a way to get Marvin Harrison Jr. the ball more. Find a way to get Michael Wilson the ball more. Now, granted, Trey McBride was five receptions, 30 yards. Would I obviously ex be excited for more? Of course, of course, right? But, I mean, he at least got five receptions where our, our wide receiver one and wide receiver two only had one reception. Like, that's unacceptable. It's, it's not good. I get the game plan. It's just, it didn't work. Kyler Murray needs to look at the tape and figure out a way to get these wide receivers going. Because right now, everybody's looking at you. Kyler, why didn't you throw it to, to Marvin Harrison Jr. when he was that wide open in the end? Why not? Why are you locking on Greg Dortch so much? Why was Greg Dortch even the guy at the end? I get it. I, I love Greg Dortch as much as the next guy, right? I think he's a dog as well. But man, oh man, oh man, if you're not going to take a chance of a, of a, you know, of a six foot two wide receiver and Michael Wilson or a fourth overall pick in, in Marvin Harrison Jr. I feel like our philosophies are just, I don't know, wired differently. I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. So a lot of things to fix up on the offensive side of the ball for sure. Let's talk about the defense real quick. The defense, eh, this, it's, it's what I predicted, right? If you're going to allow Josh Allen to sit back there and make a sandwich, right? Or, or juke like four or five people, you're not going to win this game. The defense could not bring down Josh Allen to save their lives. They couldn't. We don't have a pure pass rusher. Saving Collins is not a pure pass rusher. Um, Dennis Gardick is not a pure pass rusher. And we knew that going into the season. Why Jonathan Gannon, why why Monty Austin Ford looked at themselves and said, yeah, we're good, ladies and gentlemen. We do not need anybody. I don't get it. I don't understand it, right? So our defense, bless their hearts. They did what they could. They're, they are very, very undermanned um, on, on that D-line. Now, granted, yes, we don't have B. Joe Jolari. Yes, we don't have Darius Robinson. Will that make a big jump? Maybe, maybe. But as of right now, there was a lot of big crucial opportunities for the Cardinals to bring down Zach Allen. I'm sorry, not Zach, uh, Josh Allen, I'm sorry, in the backfield, and they just couldn't get it done. So, um, I mean, shout out to Josh Allen, man. There's a reason why he's a top five quarterback in this league. This man put this offense on his back, and he said, there's no way I'm losing to a team that went, won four wins last year. There's no way. Josh Allen did exactly what he should for his team. So kudos to him. He's a fantastic quarterback. Watching him literally gives me chills because I'm like, man, this guy, this guy's as good as it gets when it comes down to just putting the back, putting his offense on his on his back or the team on his back in general. Um, Kyler Murray played not very good, in my opinion. I, I think he had some flashes here and there, but there needs to be a way to get these wide receivers available. Um or, or open, right? Michael Wilson with a touchdown, but like that was it. Like that touchdown from Michael Wilson was literally just that one catch he got. So I don't know. Something needs to change here, ladies and gentlemen. Something needs to change. Um, And, and really the only reason why we were there in the, this place to begin with is that DJ Dallas had a punt return. So if we didn't have that punt return, take six points off that touchdown in that two point conversion that happened. So we probably, we, we, we wouldn't be sitting in a situation that we would be that close, right? We probably wouldn't be in a situation where we would be that close to actually win the game. Now, that P.I. call at the end to Greg Dorch, should have that been a P.I. call? Some say yes, absolutely should have been called. Uh, would it change the trajectory of the game? Yeah, probably. It, it would have. Um, this is my moral victory for this this season. I give you one, Cardinals. This is my moral victory. You stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Buffalo Bills. Good job. Look at the tape. Figure out a way to get these wide receivers going. Please, let's figure out how we can get some more actual sacks and, and stopping people in the backfield with the defensive side of the ball or, or maybe bring somebody in that can do so because what we got right now is not working. Uh, let me know here in the chat below, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and uh, go Cardinals.